Alright, good afternoon everybody, it's your boy Akeem and welcome to today's vlog. Here to continue with all of my 2013 NFL draft grades, I need to head to the South to talk about the NFC South Division. I think all four of the teams had decent drafts overall, a couple of questionable selections, but still decent draft for all, all four of the teams. Starting with the New Orleans Saints, they had a rough year last season, giving up the most yardage in NFL history, which means they definitely had to adjust things in the defensive side, and with their first round pick, they went with one of my Texans Longhorns, great safety sent on um, Kenny Vicario, he is the real deal, and he will definitely push the starter, Roman Harper, out of the position in, uh, coming up in the, this season, I think he should be the starter coming towards the end of the year, pushing Roman Harper to either a, a, a nickelback or maybe even a corner, but we will see, with their third round selection they picked another small school player from Arkansas Pine Bluff Teron Armstead, he had impressive pre-draft workouts and that's why the Atlanta Falcons and other teams in the National Football League has been looking at this kid. Now, this is their third player from a small school in which they picked up in the offensive line, like Jari Evans and Jerome Bushrod. Bushrod. So they picked up on Armstead, another small guy player, small school player, and I think he has the potential to become a great starter in the National Football League. With the third round, another third round selection, they picked up another big guy, defensive tackle John Jenkins out of Georgia. I think he's a great player. And I think he would put a lot of pressure in within that line of scrimmage and help stop the run and not give up so many yards just like they did last season. With the fifth round selection, they picked they picked um, Kenny Stills. He's a good receiver receiver out of Oklahoma. Another weapon for um. Drew Brees, not like he already has a lot of great weapons at the receiver position. Now, one position that they really need to need to help in was that defensive end, in my opinion. Now, they did pick up Rufus Johnson out of uh, uh, Tarleton State, but I don't think he's gonna do, do, was a good pick. I think they could have picked up a better defensive end, a more experienced and a player who's been dealing with um, tougher competition in the FBS division. Rufus Johnson, hopefully he has the potential, but maybe Sean Payton and company sees a lot more than what we see in him. I think they could have picked up a better defensive end, but still overall they had a good draft and I might have to give them a solid B for their efforts. Next team to talk about is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, they did not have a first round selection because they traded with the New York Jets to pick up Darrell Revis and signed him to a six year deal worth $96 million. That was a great trade and I think that, that could, I'm going to count Darrell Revis as their first round selection. Now, their first official pick didn't come until the second round and when they picked up John Jonathan Banks out of Mississippi State. He was a Jim Thorpe Award winner, given to the nation's best defensive back. He's I think he's going to be the good replacement for Rondé Parker in his Hall of Fame career. And um, their third round selection, they picked up Mike Glennon, the quarterback out of NC State. I think that he could give Josh Freeman and run for uh, for his money and still try to work to work his way to become a starter. But I think Freeman will still be that starter. But I think a lot more pressure will be put on Freeman, so he needs to do a better job off and throwing the football. Now in the um fourth round they picked up two good defensive um linemen and Akeem Spence out of Illinois and William Golston out of Michigan State University. He's the defensive end while Spence is a defensive tackle. Now they are stacked with a lot of young talent on the defensive side and I really think they have enough talent on the offensive side. Doug Martin had a great rookie year. Um, Vincent Jackson had a great year as a receiver. I think everything relies on the shoulders of Josh Freeman. He needs to step up this season, not make too many mistakes, and lead his team back to the playoffs, possibly to a Super Bowl. This is a young team, and I really have a lot of faith in them. I think they have so much potential, this Tampa Bay Buck team. Now, overall, for their draft selections, I'm going to have to give them an A-. minus Because of the Darrell Revis trade, that was a big upgrade on the defense. They still picked up decent defensive players, as well as um, picking up John, um, especially picking up Jonathan Banks and picking up good insurance at quarterback with Mike Lennon out of and see state. Next team to talk about is the Atlanta Falcons. Now they ended up trading a little bit in this in this year's draft, but with their first round selection, they picked up Desmond Trufant, the cornerback out of Washington. He's a great player. I think a lot of people believe that they, they um, the Atlanta Falcons reached a little bit too high for him, but I think it was a safe pick for them, and they did the a cornerback desperately. Brent Grimes is no longer with the team. Um, they also picked up another cornerback um, in the second round, and Robert Alford out of Southeastern Louisiana. 
Louisiana. This kid has a good ball skills, good cover skills. He's not good in particular in stopping the run and giving you run support. I was a little bit questioned. I gave a little question mark on this selection. I think they should have picked up a good defensive end to replace John Abraham. Now, in the fourth and fourth round, they picked up a good um, defensive end, decent player, um, Malachi Goodman out of Clemson. He's a nice, good size. He didn't have too much productivity as a Tiger, but hopefully he has the potential. And another fourth round selection, they went with the other tight end coming out of Stanford and Levine to Lolo. I think he's a decent tight end. They're looking to place a good, pick up another good tight end to replace Tony Gonzalez in the future and help out in double tight sets. And I think with two Lolos teaming up with Zach Ertz and splitting time with him and even putting himself in double tight sets, I think he could be a good um, compliment for um, um, Tony um, Gonzalez in the passing game at tight end. In the fifth round, they picked up another defensive end out of um, um, TCU, Stanley um, Mapanga. He's a good defensive end. Had a down year last season due to injuries. Hopefully he could reform himself back into the 2011 season when he posted nine sacks. Hopefully either Goodman or Mapanga can step up at the defensive end. They have a little bit of potential. I think they could have picked up better defensive ends, but still, they, at least they went after that position and, and took a shot with both of these two players. In the later, in the late rounds, in, in round seven, they picked up a safety out of Notre Dame. Zeke, um, Zeke Moda, I think he's a decent safety. Hopefully he could get a starting position. He's going to be fighting for uh, to just to be on that roster, in my opinion, overall. Now, for their efforts, I'm going to give them a solid B, just like like the New Orleans Saints. I really wish they picked up better players um, at defensive end, and that was a little bit question mark with round number two, but at least I'm going to give them A for effort for going for towards the positions that they needed to fulfill and fill in those voids, and which they did. Hopefully one of these players, particularly at the defensive end position, will step up and be that guy to replace John Abraham. So I'm going to have to give them a solid B overall, maybe a B minus, but I'm going to stick with a B at this one. And last but not least, the Carolina Panthers. Now general manager Jay, um, Dave um, Gettleman, he was stopping. He was stopping at nothing until he picked up a great defensive tackle. He had two third round defensive tackles last season and, and he doesn't feel they're going to work out, but they picked up great defensive tackles in their first and second pick. With their first pick, they picked up a great top five quality prospect and star Lotaluli. Lo out of Utah. He's the number one defensive tackle in many draft boards. I think he's a great athlete. Yes, he has a heart condition, but he's still a top five prospect, and I think he would do well in that defensive line position. With their second pick, they went with Kawan Short, the defensive tackle out of Purdue. He has a great size, and I think he's going to work well in the rotation with this with, with Star. I think both these two players can work well together. Now, the next three selections, they only have five selections in the first round, was a little bit questionable. I really think that Kerry Carolina should have went with weapons to help out Cam Newton in an offensive game. Now, at number four, and their fourth round selection, they went with offensive guard from Valdosta State, Edmund um, Kubilla. He, uh, Kubilla, he's a decent player. I think they could have went with the receiver to opposite of Steve Smith. Steve Smith is not going to play much longer, you guys. They should have picked up a good wide receiver to replace him and complement him in the passing game. They also picked up, um, in the fifth round, a linebacker out of Iowa State, A.J. Klein. He's a great, decent linebacker, but I think this team is pretty stacked that linebacker with Thomas Davis, um, Luke Cookley, who's the defensive rookie of the year last season, and let's not forget about John Beeson. He did make it to a Pro Bowl, even though they could have picked up another player, just like um, A.J. Klein. I think they were stacking up at the receiver position. They should have went with the secondary with the late-round draft selection. And at the sixth round, their final selection, they went with running back Kenyon Barner out of Oregon. He's a good speedster, but they still have Jonathan Stewart and Angela Williams at running back and let's not forget that Cam Newton can also run the ball as well. I don't think they should have went with a running back. They should have picked up a receiver to help out the passing game. A couple of questionable picks but they still picked up a great player and started on um, Lotelelli out of uh, Utah, and that, that that's why I'm going to have to give him a C overall, a solid C. With Starr and Kawan working together at defensive tackles, I was really impressed on those two selections, but they should have picked up more weapons offensively to help out Cam Newton, and I think they failed at that. They didn't even go at the receiver, and that's why I have to give them a C. If they had went to the receiver, probably gave them at least a B nine, a B minus, no matter what receiver they went with. They could have went with the receiver, and they did not do that. 
but they still picked up good defensive tackles. So I'm gonna have to give them a solid C overall. Now, the next time I'm gonna catch you guys is tomorrow, while I will head to the other side of the conferences, talking about the AFC conference and kick things off with the AFC conference, AFC East conference football grades. Thank you for watching um, today's vlog. I'm your man Akeem McCall. Be easy.